Good afternoon, friends. This is Sanjay Agarwal. I'm at the iFix Gallery. We have the artist Chaturmati Narwanji and we have Sunil Aruraji, uh, who's a family friend of Chaturmati Ji's husband. And uh, so, sir, how do you feel about this exhibition here, sir? I feel happy I came and I think I should have come in one of the earlier exhibitions. I know Rajesh has spouse for more than two decades. It was since the till I was in the government service and we continue to know each other. And I think to the best of my knowledge, she, it was Swai Madhapur, Rajasthan, where she drew her initial kind of uh, inspiration and zeal. And it's very, very few people are able to maintain their zeal and turn it into a creative energy the way she has done. Uh, so today when you see this, uh, there's some tigers which are in pencil, charcoal, and we yeah. also have colored, just have a Well, I, to the best of my knowledge, the colored one came later on. For many years, the medium was charcoal, black and white. Right. And, sir, and birds also came, flowers and birds came in between. In between. Yeah, I think that birds, abhi, I have to still go through an exhibition. So, the piece ka tha, wo to, wo duff tha, always has been there. If I don't know, map is painted. And sir, you, you would like to No, this is uh, the work original yes, for sir. this exhibition. For this exhibition. These are prints. Right, sir. So, uh, so you want to say anything for her, uh, you inspire, in, how to inspire her in the future? I only can wish her. All the best in life, and I wish that in the art world, which the connoisseurs understand, and not people like us, in that sense, the way they understand, they also appreciate her work a lot, and she'll go higher and higher in her own chosen field of creativity. Right, so thank you so much for speaking to us. This is Sanjay Agarwal at the IFIS, and this exhibition is open till the 26th. Yes. So everybody can visit here. It's near to the metro station, Kindre Terminal, se aap log sakte. And uh, just to inform you, this was inaugurated on 20th by our Honorable Vice President, Shri Dhankarji. Thank you, sir. You can. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, friends, uh, hello, this is Sanjay again with Charumati, and she'll not talk about her journey into the art painting world. So when did you start? See, I've been painting since I was a child. I, the last I remember in my school days, that used to be my favorite pastime. Where was your schooling from? Which? My schooling was from MGD school, Jaipur. Yes, Maharani Gayatri yeah, Devi. Yes. Yes. So they gave me enough opportunity to showcase my work. And of course, my first teacher was my mother. So that artistic streak comes from her side of the family. So ever since I've been, uh, my, I was always drawn to nature. So florals, flowers, birds, and landscapes, that's what I used to do. But this tiger uh, theme that came into my life, that came when my husband was posted in Savai Madhupur. That's where the Ranthambore National yes. Park is. And I got many opportunity to see the tiger in the wild, in, in all its splendor. And Great. Beauty. Yeah, because <laughs> since you come from Rajasthan, yes. so I could equate, like normally, like we've lived in Bombay. So okay. Bombay, it's no tigers. Maybe right, the right. circus used to be there. Yes, the now the government of India has possibly banned those circuses also. Uh -huh. So animal yes, is, yes. Uh, we have to go to the wild. wild. And if you go to the wild, I've been to Corbett and all. Mm -hmm. So you rarely spot. Okay. Last time I visited in 16, so we spotted Sharmili. Okay. You know, uh -huh. when we were on the way back. Okay. So this is very yes. difficult. And then you to sketch mm -hmm. them. So this is your inspiration. And uh, yes. like Sunilji was talking about birds. Yes. So in birds, what do you uh, do the painting? What I sketch? used to do the birds. Oh. Like I said, before I started uh, focusing on tigers, I was, uh, birds were my favorite, birds and flowers. But uh, ever since I picked up the theme now, uh, that became my focus and my inspiration. And, uh, and since it was a new uh, subject for me, so it took me time to get a foothold on it. And I really enjoyed this particular medium because charcoal was also a new medium for yes, me. Yes. How much time would it normally take you to paint, and say, kind this kind of work? Um, it depends on how much work I put in in a day. 
earlier when I was younger, I used to <laughs> work like three, four hours a day. But now I normally put in maybe one or maximum two hours. So I think uh, something like this I would normally com complete in, a like, in like a week or ten days. Smaller ones would take uh, less time. Right. And what do you are uh, planning for the future? Like one time we had this phase of Corona when all yes. the artists withdrew. But here I saw a lot of new artists emerge. Okay. There were people, professionals, doctors sitting at home. Okay. So these people put, took to the canvas. Okay. So how was your uh, time in the Corona? Yeah, my Corona time was actually a period where I had almost stopped working because there were other personal issue matters yes. to take care of. And anyways, I, it was somehow just a phase where uh, other things had taken over. Right. But uh, in this particular year, then I realized that I'm just, you know, if I have, God has given me this gift, so I should continue with the good work and keep uh, projecting the tiger, keep getting it back in the spotlight. Right, and sure. luckily, uh, or coincidentally, I would say that this year, uh, Project Tiger completes 50 years. So I'm happy my exhibition is coinciding with that. Yeah, we'll just move yes. a little bit. Okay. We can uh, also take this, maybe these yes. pictures we yes. can just capture. As you say, like, so we're also, we members of the WWF. Yes. So when we studied the Air Force School, so we had our principal taking us for trekking. And you know, we grew up in that kind of atmosphere. So even it's lovely to see all these paintings. Yes. And uh, now what are you planning in the future? Are any uh, more shows coming up? Um, yes, I, I hope to be more consistent because like, uh, like you said, Corona period was a time when I had almost given up. So I hope to be consistent in the future and I would like to continue with this theme as well as uh, my, uh, uh, what I used to do as a child, my love for nature and natural subjects. Right. So, and I keep, since I'm a self-taught artist, I keep experimenting with other mediums. And so you'll always see a mix of everything and I like to keep the tigers in focus. So I will continue with them. Great. Yes. And you said your first uh, source of inspiration you drew from your mother. So yes. now it's oh, about... Uh, my first uh, art yes, teacher, our teacher, yes, yes. Because even like our mothers, they grew up, you know, with either doing embroidery or whatever, the finer arts. Yes, the finer arts. So now about your family, mm -hmm. coming to your family. Mm -hmm your nearest and you know so how do they take you as an artist yes they are very happy that you know i they've seen me grown over the grow over the years and especially in my artistic journey and they have been a source of support. do they also uh, kind of practice do they do um not really anymore okay but uh, they were like like i said my mother's side of the family so my mother's sisters yes. they're also artists oh. Who have and in fact one of my uh, aunts had an exhibition in this particular gallery itself about 45 years ago. Lovely. So, <laughs> so they have always been very supportive. Even my father, uh, my husband's family, they have always supported uh, this yeah, work. That's good, you know, because if everybody's supporting you, yes, that's so how you're huh, encouraged. Absolutely encouraged, and uh, it's it's like a team effort to hold an exhibition. So like, as they say, artists just like to be in their rooms and working quietly, but the rest of the show is managed by the family. <laughs> so, uh, Chairavati, just lastly, yes. uh, we want to sum it up saying, like you've been here for almost three, four days, and yes. you had the vice president inaugurating. Right. So it was a big uh, moment for you. Oh, yes, it was. So how do you feel now, last three, four days you've been spending here? Uh, what is your biggest moment you want to share with us? Yeah, I think the presence of uh, the vice president, vice president itself was a big moment for me. It's a big moment for the tiger and it's a big moment for the art world. Yeah, so, so I think uh, at this we'll just sum it up and like as she said, Project Tiger is completing 50 years. So we need to save the tiger, we need to save our ecosystem, the wildlife. Absolutely. So it's about birds, it's about animals, it's about those harmless creatures. Yeah, it's about the jungles and our environment. Yes. For the future generations. And also like and I... for the planet for the to sustain planet. itself. <laughs> yes. Because recently we were at the Durga Puja Pandal. Mm -hmm. So they are trying to show that what we are giving to our next generation. Absolutely. So uh, they are showing a, a school child who is carrying an oxygen cylinder, oh. you know, okay. to school. That is what people are seeing the future. So we have to... Yes. We have to act now so that... Act now. Yes. 
and uh, lastly like i just want to add from my side it say no to drugs say no to alcohol and uh, a tiger ke paas khade to say no to uh, means be a veggie i'm not saying yeah means people are uh, you know countries across and indians across uh, people are eating the animals so i always tell them uh, not that i'm a jain not for that reason but i said uh, your pure vegetarian food jo aapko pedon se mil raha Uh, that's enough for your like lively jo aapki matlab good health your option too your option yes thank you jarmadi and to wish you all the best thank, thank you, you so sir. much friends we have some people the viewers for this gallery so you can introduce yourself and talk about this kaise lagta yeah sure my name is dinesh sharma and i am an art lover i generally visit this gallery uh, frequently and uh, i come across various artists and i interact with those guys and uh, looking at this specifically for this is uh, i think uh, is in a uh, world's need also where the focus is more on tiger i think uh, the mam has done an a really beautiful work and uh, it's like uh, you are uh, rather than going to jim corbett you can very much see the paintings here <laughs> so is is really good to see and uh, in so many poses and so many angles that's an i think the beauty of the artist who has created all these paintings and uh, floral is also something which which is very pleasing so uh, i hope that uh, some day i'll own one of the good paintings which she has uh, projecting here and good luck to the all the people and the ma'am thank you Your friend also said you want to add something. Yes, I am Vivek. I am based out of Gurgaon, so I am also influenced by Dinesh. So I also visit along with him and see the paintings. Uh, if talking about these tigers, I am also very much impressed how lively the photograph is. It seems like uh, the expressions are very real, and we can talk to these paintings. So I admire I admire her work and the dedication which she has put in. and for the florals have you also i have painted but i have always got uh, b b or c grade so i am out of it <laughs> but i really love the work of tigers it's very very impressing i would i would suggest everybody to come and at least have a look the expressions and the time and dedication that she has put in is marvelous thank you i'll share my number Yes. You had shoes all around.